Cancer, let's have a look at your energies for February. This is general, so it won't resonate with you all. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Roles can also be reversed. For the month of February, I am offering my love readings on special to celebrate Valentine's Day. If you're interested, that information is below. I also still have personal readings on offer. That information is also below, okay, in the description. All right, Cancer, let's get started. So Cancer, it seems to me that you are manifesting something very powerful here, but I don't think that you see it right now because currently there seems to have been some sort of argument with you and your person. If that's not the case, then there's a complete separation. I feel like there was some sort of cutting communication that happened here where or possibly you found something out and there was an argument and you've chosen to pull away from your person. They see that you are being very defensive right now, okay? But I feel like your person really misses you and you pulling away from them is not something that they are enjoying. Possibly you were dealing with someone who's a, who was a little non-committal. Maybe they were breadcrumbing you, promising you they would commit and step up. But then when it actually came to that time, it just never happened. I feel that you were possibly disappointed by this person. And now you've chosen to create barriers around your heart. You're pushing this person away, but your person definitely is not done with you. In fact, I feel that your person now wants to step up and create a more stable, a more balanced, and possibly even a more committed cycle with you. There's some communication that your person wants to manifest. They do not want the ending of this relationship. In fact, I feel like your person has a proposal even. So if your person was breadcrumbing you before, possibly telling you that you would get engaged but it just never happened you possibly lost your patience with this person and you've chosen to pull away doing this is actually what is bringing you what you've been waiting for this whole time your person wants to step up now there seems to be an offer of love that they want to bring towards you and with this two of cups coupled with the ten of cups wow you are this person's wish fulfillment and i really feel like your person wants to marry you at least they're thinking about it if it's not that deep then they're just thinking about being committed to you if they're or possibly even joining families maybe you guys have kids with different people and your person wants to come forward and join families i just see someone wanting a family with you cancer that's really amazing your person's very passionate about you i don't think there's much communication right now because there is this three of swords um i think your person does feel the defenses the defensive energy from you um like i said i keep feeling like there was some cutting words between the two of you possibly a screaming argument or some information came out about your person that made you choose to pull away from them but i think that your person isn't done there's some communication that they're trying to manifest they do want to come back into your life and i feel like now they are finally ready to step up and be committed be your divine counterpart okay i really feel strongly that someone wants to propose or bring you some sort of loving offer possibly oh my goodness i can't believe that did i not say have i not been saying manifest manifest i feel that energy very very strongly here your person is in major major manifestation mode maybe this is you cancer you are a water sign so you do know how to tap into the universe uh, maybe you are the one that's wanting to communicate with someone possibly someone broke your heart you chose to to pull away but that doesn't mean you're completely done with them you are hoping that they'll come back to you with a more mature offer and i promise you cancer it seems like it's coming all right there's some communication from the heart something that i don't even think you're expecting some sort of fortune some sort of um things moving in the direction that you've been waiting for them to move in finally and I feel very, very strongly that your person is manifesting you. So I don't know if your person knows what manifestation is, if they're like aware of anything like that. Maybe they're just someone who manifests 
unconsciously or possibly they know exactly what they're doing but someone has you on their mind they have oh my goodness oh cancer this reading is so beautiful someone has you on their mind they want to manifest a new cycle they definitely want to reconcile with you and they want to start putting effort into this relationship possibly you were dealing with someone who was a little immature playing the field not wanting to settle down but now they do they do not want to lose you at all cancer all right your person wants to come back and invest in this relationship i think your person wow cancer the cards are just speaking look at the bottom of the deck this is the offer this is the apology this is the explanation possibly this is the proposal all right so it's obviously not going to be for all of you you know your storyline if you've been with someone for quite some time and you've been waiting for them to propose they've been breadcrumbing you telling you that they would and you pulled away then this is your story your person's coming forward with the proposal finally if that's not the case someone just wants to come forward and ask you out on that date maybe someone that you dealt with in the past because you've got this defensive energy maybe they rejected you maybe they breadcrumbed you maybe they were playing the field with three parties here they just weren't investing at that time maybe it just wasn't the right time with this wheel of fortune okay but your person wants you back okay i can't say it any better than that there's some communication that they want to uh, bring forward and i think it's because they want to mend this heartbreak they want to mend whatever damage it is that they've caused bring forward some communication and let you know how passionate they are about you they don't want to end things the way that they've ended they are willing to finally commit to you they want you to lower your barriers and they are willing to fight for this relationship they are not done with this at all they are manifesting a new cycle with you reconciliation a celebration oh my gosh i really do feel like there's gonna be a wedding your person does not want to lose you okay <gasps> reconciliation this is the most beautiful reading honestly this could be someone from your past like i keep picking up but like from your childhood maybe you went to school with this person you lost contact but they've been thinking about you and they are coming back if that's not the case i, I feel children could be involved so maybe you are the mother of this person's child but they weren't marrying you now they want to step up and create a family with you okay um or possibly men um bringing together two families something along those lines your person has some sort of communication some sort of commitment some sort of offer something stable wow i want to be a cancer <laughs> this is beautiful you're not going to be expecting this, okay? Your person's been in their head about the situation, about breaking your heart or whatever information that came out. It was very shocking, unexpected. I think that this breakup was not expected for both of you. You've chosen to pull away from this person. I think that you just could not take it anymore, okay? Whatever it is you found out, whatever it is that they said, whatever it is that they did has made you walk away. If not fully separate from this person you're just not in the best contact with them they are stressing out a lot of anxiety a lot of sleepless nights about this communication they know that they have no choice um no not no choice they have no room to mess about you know it's like this communication is very crucial they have to say everything right so i think that they're stressed out about it but please do expect some sort of communication something from the heart um sorry about that cancer um the reading just cut so it is mercury retrograde i have been expecting technology to go a little crazy and it has been going crazy the video literally just cut out of nowhere for no reason so i'm not starting again i'm just gonna splice these two videos together if anything looks a bit different that's the explanation okay what was i saying oh goodness i'm so sorry about that guys um i don't even remember what i was saying or where i was this mercury retrograde has really messed up with this technology for me 
Um, I think I was saying that um, someone's coming forward with an offer, possibly from the heart communication that they want to be with you. They want to commit to you. They want to marry you. Um, they are not happy right now, okay, with the sudden shift in this relationship. They don't want you to walk away, but I do feel like you have chosen to move away from this Eight of Cups, which is disappointment, and walk towards your Ten of Cups, whether it's with this person or not. But your person does not want to let this go. And as you can see, you're leaving with these eight of cups and they're bringing these two cups to you to complete the cycle of ten cups beautiful i really feel like you are with someone who has woken up and smelled the roses i think wow as i say that the hermit your person was playing games before possibly pushing your boundaries trying to test you um maybe you've allowed this kind of behavior before and they thought that they wow this reading is so beautiful maybe you've allowed this kind of behavior from them before and they thought that you would allow it again but you pulling away has shocked them okay they didn't expect for you to actually pull away from them this time and to be serious about it. That's what's bringing this person back towards you. They want to rush back in, take a leap of faith off because they've changed their perspective. They've gone within. They've become enlightened about this relationship. They've become enlightened about who it is you are to them. You are their person. No more games, no more immaturity. It's time to step up and make this person mine. Wow, Cancer. So whatever it is that you're doing, pulling yourself in this high regard, no longer allowing them to test your boundaries, push you, push you around. Oh, wow. Yep. This person's coming back. You are their sunshine. And I keep picking up on children here. So like I said, you might have kids with this person or they want to have a family with you. You make them very, very happy. Ace of Swords, again, you're on this person's mind. There's communication coming in your direction, Cancer. Please be aware. Two of Wands. They want to manifest with you, okay? But right now, I feel like they're a little bit stuck in their head trying to figure out how they're going to get you to trust them again. Your person must have done something that you found out about Wow, look at this eight of wands communication, but it's in reverse. You guys haven't been communicating, right? Because you're, you're, I think you're pissed with this person. With the seven of swords, they might have stepped out on you. Or maybe you just feel like they were trying to play you or play you for a fool almost. That's the energy I'm picking up on. So yeah, they don't want this to end, but they're trying to figure out how they're going to win you back. They want to collaborate with you. They want to celebrate with you. Four of Wands is also the card of marriage. They want to come out of this conflict with you. Because intuitively, I think both of you, didn't we have the High Priestess? I feel like intuitively, both of you know that you are each other's counterparts, all right? There's a lot of intuitive energies flowing between the two of you. Possibly this is how you're communicating, not verbally, um, not in the physical world, but you're communicating spiritually, okay? Maybe that's how your person has been begging you to not leave. <laughs> because they are trapped in their head about this ending, they definitely want a new beginning with you. A very passionate new start with you. King of Wands. They want to step up. You could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. All right, Cancer. I don't think that there's much else I need to add. I think that's pretty much your reading. Someone from your past who was playing games no longer wants to play games. Um, and if it's not marriage, then it's just commitment or someone wanting to fuse families together. That person from your past is coming in, okay? It's going to be shocking and unexpected. That's an energy I'm picking up on here. Or maybe the fact that they're ready to finally settle down. That's what's shocking and unexpected. Because this person might have been letting you know that, uh-uh, I don't want a relationship. But losing you has made them want a relationship. All right, Cancer, let's close off your reading with the Gentle Gardener, card number two from the Enchanted Map deck. These are just the general energies that should be surrounding you for the month of February. It's in reverse, so let's see what that has to say. Do you harbor resentments? Ooh, maybe that's what that Three of Swords was. Maybe you're feeling quite resentful because this person 
maybe it was attached to something toxic. So just be aware of those resentments, okay? Because they will manifest. How often do you reinforce negativity by affirming lack and limitation? Every time you send out a desire for something, but secretly harbor a belief that you're undeserving of it. You plant weeds in the field of your dreams. When the gentle gardener appears in the reverse position, she reminds you to be aware of any negative thoughts or selfish motives. She encourages you to step back and pay close attention to what thought seeds you send out into the world. Weeds choke the life out of your beautiful garden. No need to fret, however, because once you recognize this, you can always remove a bad seed and replace it with a healthy one. Forgiveness is your most powerful restorative tool. Wow. So possibly this is how your person's feeling. They feel that you are resenting them and that is why they haven't reached out, but they will, okay? Possibly you are the one that's sitting in this resentment. Be aware of it. Try to release it. Try to forgive this person. Even if that doesn't mean you take them back, you just forgive them so you can forgive them for you and you can move on with a pure heart, all right? That's possibly why you got the three of swords in reverse. Release the resentment. All right, guys, I hope that this has helped. Do remember that Valentine's readings are on special. The information is in the description below. Um, if not, guys, please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Leave a comment. Cool. I shall catch you on the next one. Bye.